Welcome back today we gonna talk about Sri Lanka, one of most beautiful country in Asia. Sri Lanka officially the Democratic Socialist Republic of Sri Lanka, is an island country in South Asia, located in the Indian Ocean to the southwest of the Bay of Bengal, and to the southeast of the Arabian Sea. The island is geographically separated from the Indian subcontinent by the Gulf of Manor and the Pak Strait. The legislative capital, Sri Jayawardenepura Kot, is a suburb of the commercial capital and largest city, Colombo. Sri Lanka's documented history spans 3,000 years, with evidence of prehistoric human settlements, dating back to at least 125,000 years. It has a rich cultural heritage, and the first known Buddhist writings of Sri Lanka, the Pali Canon, date back to the Fourth Buddhist Council in 29 BC. Its geographic location and deep harbors made it of great strategic importance from the time of the ancient Silk Road through to the modern maritime Silk Road. Sri Lanka was known in the West, and from the beginning of British colonial rule as Ceylon, a nationalist political movement arose in the country in the early 20th century to obtain political independence, which was granted in 1948 the country became a republic and adopted its current name in 1972. Sri Lanka's recent history has been marred by a 30-year civil war, which ended decisively when the Sri Lanka Armed Forces defeated the Liberation Tigers of Tamil Eelam, LTTE, in 2009. The current constitution stipulates the political system as a republic and unitary state governed by a semi-presidential system. It has had a long history of international engagement, as a founding member of the South Asian Association for Regional Cooperation SARC, and a member of the United Nations, the Commonwealth of Nations, the G77, and the Non-Aligned Movement. Along with the Maldives, Sri Lanka is one of only two South Asian countries rated high on the Human Development Index HDI, with its HDI rating, and per capita income, the highest among South Asian nations. The Sri Lankan constitution accords Buddhism the foremost place, although it does not identify it as a state religion. Buddhism is given special privileges in the Sri Lankan constitution. The island is home to many cultures, languages and ethnicities. The majority of the population are from the Sinhalese ethnicity, while a large minority of Tamils have also played an influential role in the island's history. Moors, Burgers, Malays, Chinese, and the indigenous Beta, are also established groups on the island. The culture of Sri Lanka dates back over 2500 years. It is influenced primarily by Buddhism and Hinduism. Sri Lanka is the home to two main traditional cultures. The Sinhalese it centered in the ancient cities of Kandy and Anuradhapura and the Tamil, it centered in the city of Jaffna. In more recent times, the British colonial culture has also influenced the locals. Sri Lanka claims a democratic tradition matched by few other developing countries. The first Tamil immigration was probably around the 3rd century, BC. Tamils coexisted with the Sinhalese people since then, and the early mixing rendered the two ethnic groups almost physically indistinct. Ancient Sri Lanka is marked for its genius in hydraulic engineering and architecture. The rich cultural tradition shared by all Sri Lankan cultures is the basis of the country's long life expectancy, advanced health standards and high literacy rate. Sri Lanka is one of 25 biodiversity hotspots in the world. Although the country is relatively small in size, it has the highest biodiversity density in Asia. A remarkably high proportion of the species among its flora and fauna, 27% of the 3,210 flowering plants and 22% of the mammals, are endemic. Sri Lanka has declared 24 wildlife reserves, which are home to a wide range of native species such as Asian elephants, leopards, sloth bears, the unique small loris, a variety of deer, the purple-faced langur, the endangered wild boar, porcupines and Indian pangolins. Flowering acacias flourish on the arid Jaffna Peninsula. Among the trees of the dry land forests are valuable species such as satinwood, ebony, ironwood, mahogany and teak. The wet zone is a tropical evergreen forest with tall trees, broad foliage, and a dense undergrowth of vines and creepers. Subtropical evergreen forests resembling those of temperate climates flourish in the higher altitudes. Yala National Park in the southeast protects herds of elephant, deer, and peacocks. The Wolpadu National Park in the northwest, the largest national park, preserves the habitats of many water birds, such as storks, pelicans, ibis, and spoonbills. 
Sindharaja Forest Reserve is home to 26 endemic birds and 20 rainforest species. The untapped genetic potential of Sindharaja flora is enormous. Of the 211 woody trees and lianas within the reserve, 139 its percentage, 66%, are endemic. The total vegetation density, including trees, shrubs, herbs and seedlings, has been estimated at 240,000 individuals per hectare. The Minaria National Park borders the Minaria Tank, which is an important source of water for numerous elephants inhabiting the surrounding forests. Dubbed the Gathering, the congregation of elephants can be seen on the tank bed in the late dry season, it's August to October, as the surrounding water sources steadily disappear. The park also encompasses a range of microhabitats which include classic dry zone tropical monsoon evergreen forest, thick stands of giant bamboo, hilly pastures and grasslands, Sri Lanka is home to over 250 types of resident birds. It has declared several bird sanctuaries including Kumina. During the Mahali program of the 1970s and 1980s in northern Sri Lanka, the government set aside four areas of land totaling 1,900 km2 as national parks. Sri Lanka's forest cover, which was around 49% in 1920, had fallen to approximately 24% by 2009. Thank you for spending some time with us, if you want more make sure to subscribe, so you never miss a video.